I do have one other item I want to share with you just in case you receive some phone calls, complaints about folks not being able to, to get through to us here at the central office. Just one day last week while I was gone on vacation, there was a severe thunderstorm, evidently lightning struck the building, the phone system somehow was affected, and uh, according to Tina, what's referred to as the auto attendant part of our, our phone system is banging. So long story short, Tina's answer every phone call right now that's coming into this building. Not that's humanly possible. She was, it was rapid fire up there today, three or four times when I was up there. You know, so, you know, she's doing the best she can. And, uh, and according to Armstrong, um, they'll be back in the morning to work on the problem, but it, it may be a while before it's restored. So, this is a pretty good talk. Yeah. She is good. Me and I can handle it. That's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's confident, in our Yeah. Chicken. That's all I have. It's so true. Anyway, I think just a couple of things here. I've uh, got a copy of a, the Lincoln County High School Community Luncheon on August 9th, in case you weren't aware of that. I think everybody got one there. Everybody's encouraged to put the end. <coughs> we also received a letter from the Slims Kid from the Weekly County Baptist Church thanking us for using the Arts School uh, this summer. So we appreciate their thoughts. Thank you, Nancy. Yeah. Board have anything else? I have here something. One of the five projects that the committee built. I have some questions about the, the committee. Can, can I give them to you and you email them to me? Like, I should put on the committee and where do they live and what area do they represent? How do they get on the committee? Who chairs the committee? And how do they come up with the five projects? I'll be glad to get you. As I've talked to other board members, I don't, I have stand about the process and stuff. I don't want to see some kind of have answers. So would the, the rest of you like to have the same information to answer these questions? Maybe you want me to just call yeah, them and yeah. yeah. Okay. Because I want to do everything, make every effort, because whatever we do, it's there for probably 60 years. We want to make sure we make every effort. I think we all agree with that. Yeah, I have a lot of questions. Still okay. That's good. Uh, anybody have anything else? If not, I have one thing I'd like to uh, discuss with you all. <coughs> Regarding the superintendent's uh, evaluation, you know, that's an annual thing that we're required to do. Uh, we must do that by September the 15th each year. Last year, as you know, we really didn't meet that goal. We, uh, but it was kind of new to us. Uh, we had, had personnel, so we, <laughs> for the prior 10 years, we didn't know we had to do that. But the, what we did last year, as you recall, it's great that you oversaw that, but we ended up, the state mandates that the superintendents be evaluated on a couple of goals, uh, how they uh, deal with the scores, uh, standardized test scores and all schools that may be on uh, in jeopardy in some way there's some criteria related to those so last year that's you know, we focused really on the mandatory parts of that instrument that those have to be done in regards to the superintendent and miss lucas was you know fine with that she understood so we eventually did that based on those items there but we did not do them timely as we should have also the actual evaluation itself can happen by june the 30th of each year now that's will change this year. In the last year of a superintendent's contract, this whole process has to end by March the first. So the reason I'm saying this is because we need soon to this meet like we did last year and get together and for those of you who weren't here, Larry, you did I'm sure. Okay, so Gary and the only ones here. What we did is we met as a board and in the executive session we looked at the goals or objectives we were going to set. And then after we were kind of comfortable with this is what we wanted, then the superintendent is invited in and then we go over those with her too because she feels comfortable. 
and once both all of us are satisfied with what we have, we then proceed. Now last year we just went ahead and did that. But what if we're going to alter that in any way, in other words, if we're going to go beyond those two mandatory goals, then what we must do, go through that same process in an executive session with the superintendent. And then after let's say we add a, a goal that's not on there now, we then must submit the document to the Western Department of Education for the state board to approve that. So once again, we have to do this first phase by September the 15th because uh, once we've chosen what we want, and as we all agree, let's say we have three goals instead of two, then we send that to Charleston. We have to get their approval that they okay that this instrument can be used. Then we meet uh, with the superintendent and we formally say this is, you know, it's been approved by the State Department, or Department of Education and this is going to be the, uh, the document that we use, the instrument we use this year. We have to do that by September 15th. And then the final the steps will be later on, I guess maybe January or February or so, we'll, have, we'll choose those times later on when we'll go through the same process we did last year where there'll be a day when uh, Trish and Jeff and all of them come here and they'll go through each of the uh, items and they'll show us how they address those and all. And then we will uh, meet once again, uh, the board will to determine if those have all been met satisfactorily and the, this of course occurs in executive session. When that culminates, then we'll come out and be announced to the public our findings. So the reason I bring all this up is because that September 15th deadline and the fact that realizing that things are coming coming up on us quickly, I don't know how long it will take uh, people in Charleston to all to give us approval if we do choose to change something, which I don't know that we will, but if we want to add another goal or something. Uh, so it, when you know we're meeting here tonight, and we're not scheduled to meet again until August the seventh. Okay, now um, we could. Down here so I can come in. So August the 7th, we're going to come back and meet again. We don't meet again after that until August the 21st. Okay, so now we're getting to the point of you know, if we do something on the 21st, you know, not only may we have a lot of items on the agenda, but if we're going to get to the point of being able to, to develop whatever we develop, send it to Charleston and get a response back in like three weeks or something. You see what I mean? So I'm so I'm going to suggest that maybe you all look at your calendars, and if we want to do it, say we meet on August the 7th, and if you thought that we could meet maybe the next week on August the 14th, and uh, if do it then, uh, then we could uh, you know, have that time set aside to, you know, to come up with a preliminary document, and then by the end of that week, we could uh, get it to Charleston and be on Tuesday, so about like maybe the 17th of August, it would be in Charleston, and that would give them maybe three weeks to get, give us approval, so then we could set maybe September the 14th when we actually have the trade. Okay. It has to be approved on the state level by that day? Well, it had not. We submit it by that day. No, no it, it has to be, it can be approved by them anytime as long, I'm just saying, I'm just concerned about us getting it to them them giving us the approval and us having time to do meet with the superintendent by September 15th. Okay, gotcha. See, because I was thinking maybe uh, even if we met like on September the 14th, you know, and, and to meet with Trish and go over the thing after we've gotten approval. Yeah, here's your instrument. It's been approved for Lincoln County to use this as a your evaluation instrument for the superintendent. And then we say, okay, September 14th, you know, we're going to set that as a meeting to when we actually do that. August or September? Well, September the 15th is when it has, we have to meet with Trish by September the 15th. No later than September 15th. Well, that's in my code, so I'm just, that's why I said maybe the day before. I, I just said September the 14th would be back or that day. But it has to be before the 15th. Well, I was proposing that okay. as a possibility to see what you all thought. That's just why I'm on September the 14th is the West Virginia School Board Association Fall Conference. Okay. Well, we may have to meet with her on the 13th. I mean, we, we can decide that as we as that gets near. 
what I wanted to get to is for us to get over the first hurdle of getting something um, approved by you know, that we all can live with and then you know, we meet the superintendent with it. and then send that to Charleston because then I'm just, I don't know how long it'll take them to get back to us to say, because I don't really anticipate any problems, but you know, they, they have a lot of paper flowing in and out of there too. And just allow them enough time to give us, you know, that this has been approved before we meet, but we may, we can meet any time a week prior to that hearing, for that matter. I'm just saying it has to be by the 15th. And then, you know, the, everything we're on kind of a hold then, because then we'll come back um, in February or so and set some due dates to when we'll actually um, have uh, this witness to meet with us and say, okay, here are my goals that you all set in the fall, and here's how we achieve those. And once again, it, it's just the fact that um, in the superintendents last year, their contract, Time frame is different. It, it, all this has to conclude by March the first until June thirty. So that kind of speaks up for obvious reasons, I guess. So, but I mean, I don't know what day you all would prefer. Uh, and I've got to thinking or listening to this conversation about us going on these trips here, and I don't know whether we can <laughs> tie all that together or not. I'm, I'm just open to suggestions, whatever you all think. Well, I agree. We need to get with them because we want the fifteenth. September 15th won't be a problem for us. So I personally am free on August 14th. That's fine. Okay. Now, of course, that would be, we could meet in the day, during the day for that, so that would be effective session anyway. But I was going to ask Gary. You know, oh, yeah. He, he says, says he's free. Gary. Is he free in the evening or all day long? I would. I can tell us what you I prefer. I could during the day on the 14th. Uh, it doesn't matter to me. I've been talking about the rest of us. So we were about to talk to him. I feel like I'm going to go there today. It doesn't matter to me, Jerry. I know. Well, I'm so going to say that. Yeah. Well, I mean, we can do this. We don't have to deal with going on our uh, trip on the same day. I can tell you that. We can always do that some other time. But if the 14th at 6 o'clock is good for you all, uh, uh, we can go that route too if you want to maybe try to schedule a meeting that day. We need to architect and do the six hours should be able to time to Well, then there's nothing said we can't do it on Saturday. Uh, the trip, you mean, right? Yeah. I think he's going to call Mr. Ferguson. Yeah. Let's see. Would you like for him to suggest August 14? He said the member of the design of the day. We'll try that. Possibility. And we don't actually have to do this unless we were going to do it sooner than the 14th because we're going to meet on the 7th. So in <coughs> our next meeting, we could say we're going to meet yeah. again on the 14th. But in, in, if someone had thought we, it was necessary for us to meet uh, before that, to like the 10th of August or something, then we might not have time to notify the public as we need to. But if everybody feels comfortable with the 14th, We'll just do that next week. And if something, if you know, as we get home and we think through it, it may be that that's not a good time. So then on the, the seventh, we can decide whatever our best day can be. And Brenda and maybe advise us as far as you know, trip to the two sites, proposed sites too, and we can decide on that. Maybe we have to know more about the architect. But all I want to do is just make sure that we get something done and submit it uh, so we can do that timely. Okay, that's all I had. Anybody else have anything else? If not, I'll answer a motion to adjourn. So, August the 7th. Mr. McAllister. All, all yes? Yes. yes.